Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri. We have another screencast on Maple tutorial as a continuation of what we discussed last lecture on integration and calculating area and volume. Now we talk about the mass. Uh, it would be a little bit more challenging. We use triple integration in order to calculate the mass and later on we talk about uh, some other methods that you can uh, implement uh, multivariate calculus using Maple. Uh, to start, let's have a, a simple equation here a rho, a function of density is a function of x, y, z equal to seven point eight we do uh, know that mass of any object is equal to the density multiplied by the volume assuming that we have a constant density which is uh, very common uh, think about for example we have iron 7.8 uh, gram per cube centimeter and now if I have a cube shape that it has uh, 4 by 4 by 4 height length and width so if I want to calculate the density uh, the, the mass of this cube shape made out of uh, steel or iron all I have to do would be uh, I go to this expression here and it would be an integration so here instead of this value here f my function I put the other the function I define already here so this would be copy it here and simply I replace f here by uh, what I have and of course, because I have a Cartesian component, I have x, y, z, I have to have two more integration here. Now, let's just start with uh, putting the infinite values here. So, from 0 to 4, and when you want to go to the next one, you press tab here to the 4, and then again 0 to 4, and 0 to 4, and the next tab, it goes to x, y, z. And as a rule of thumb, the closest one here which is 0 to 4, in this case all of them, relates to here. So if I want to do the integration uh, with respect to x, y, z, first x, then y, then z, then this has to be my x, and this has to be my y, and here has to be my z. So x is correct, here is y, and here is z. And if I uh, press enter here, so the value is going to be 4, 99.20, which is equal to the volume which is 64 multiplied by 7.8 so that's fairly simple but what if my function is not as simple as a constant value and it's equal to x multiplied by y multiplied by z plus x squared plus y square plus z square now obviously here it's, it's a more complex uh, system what I have and maybe I just for the sake of argument I add here 7.8 just to verify it here so what I have here it's a material that as I increase x and y and z the density of the material increases at x, y, z equal to zero, this is iron or steel. But as I'm increasing x, y, z, it becomes denser. And obviously the mass of a cube made from the same shape is going to be more complex. So all I do, I can copy and paste the same thing here, copy it here. And I paste it here. So what I have now here it's a, a different system. I have a cube that the density changes as I increase the coordinate and when I press enter you can see that the density is much uh, higher and as a result the mass is going to be much higher. So this is an example that if you want to use a triple integral that's how we can uh, do it. Of course, there are other methods for 
doing this, I want to give you a couple of more examples here. And uh, let's consider that you have two curves and you want to find the area between these two curves. Uh, let's think about x to the power 4 and the next one would be this function. So I want to plot this function here. I go here, you go plot, plot 2D, and this is how it looks like. Obviously, this is an automatic in terms of the uh, axis here. I have to change that. This green one does not uh, shown here. I go here, right click, I go to axes, and I go to properties. And what I need basically is uh, for the horizontal, I go from uh, minus 1 to 3. And for y or vertical, I go from 0 to 5. Apply. Okay, this is what we have here. So as you can see, I have this curve here, and this is the other one here. So I have an area between these two curves. And if I want to calculate the area between these two, the easiest way by doing it is I uh, write uh, double integration. I can do it in simple or double, but let's just do it with simple integration first. So I write this function minus this function and I do the integration of that. But first of all, let's see where these two curves, they meet and they're equal to each other's. For finding that, I have to be in mathematics instead of text, and I write x to the power 4 minus root 3 of x, and then I want to solve this, so I go solve. And actual solve the different types of solving and this is what you get here uh, that often that when you solve something you will get some actual uh, real numbers and then you will get some imaginary numbers so we are not worried about this part so obviously the answer would be two points x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 now if I want to find the value of this uh, the area between these two simply I copy this right click copy paste and then I go and I do the definite integral I don't know why it doesn't do it this time let's just Simply get it here and write this. Put it here. And paste it here. And the value would be obviously from 0 to 1. And as soon as I press enter, this is the answer. And of course, uh, you have to pay attention. The answer is negative 11 divided by 20. And the reason is, obviously, you should realize that, that the value of the root 3 of x is higher within this range. So, I want, if I want to do it correctly, I should have written a negative of this value. It means negative of this plus this value. And in that case, this answer would have been positive. So, the area between these two. Now, of course, I could have simply uh, go here, and I can right-click on it. I go to construction, as I explained, and you do the integration. You go x, and you do from 0 to 1, and this would be the answer. Then from here, you go and you right-click, you go evaluate, and this would be the same 
answer as all we got initially. So, uh, I also uh, can do integration uh, for a function. Let's just write another function here. So, x plus x divided by y plus y divided by x. So, if this is my function here, uh, I can right click on it and there is an option here is called tutors and in order to having that so first of all you have to upload the multi uh, variable calculus you go to tools then you go to load package and you go all the way down here the students uh, multivariable calculus is loaded here and after you are able to get that uh, value of tools so I right click on it I have tutor I go to tutor it says calculus multivariable approximate integration that's a very handy feature and I have the function here so let's do it from 0 to 5 and y also from 0 to 5 and I press display so this is what I get and the actual answer is the volume of these prisms underneath here so in this case obviously you can see that the approximation is this value here I could have increased that number to 10 and this number to 10 and I would have had a higher uh, level of accuracy and you can see that this has become smaller and smaller I can go to animation here simply and I can animate that as you can see that the prisms become smaller and smaller and the accuracy become higher and higher so for this particular case here I prefer actually to go from 0 to uh, I can go to infinity here so I create from maybe 2 to 5 and this is from 2 to 5 and display here so in this particular case you can see that and this is what I have here so I have very high accuracy here so the actual value should be 50.70 uh, 50.742 and here what I get in terms of approximation is 50.726 very very accurate so I can close it here and this is what I get or I could have simply have this value here, copy, and I simply go to map and I paste it here. So I can maybe use this value here, here, right? You go definite integral, and I right click, I paste it here. And then, of course, I want to do dual integral. I make a dual, and we know the values it was from uh, 1 to 5. So 1 to 5, and here is 1 to 5, and here was x, and this is y, and here it was again. And then, of course, I have to. Uh, do the approximation here and here is the answer so I think previously what we calculated was from 2 to 5 so I put 2 here and I put 2 here and let me do it again and this is the value here and I do the approximation and the answer is what we got before which is 50.741 so these are two different ways of uh, actually doing an integration so I have one more lecture in this area and that will talk about a little more advanced cases. Uh, I explain about more in terms of different ways of doing more than Cartesian. So polar and perhaps cylindrical and spherical shape. Thank you very much.